All right, Paul again from EMD Automotive. Just a quick video here. Intake's all cleaned up. Started fitting all the intake pipe. I've tested this one here. This little diaphragm is good. Holds vacuum, there's no hole in it, so it's good. Make sure you test it all the time. There's no point putting it back without testing it. Uh, I've rerouted the vacuum lines already. Nice and neat, it's supposed to, where they're supposed to go. I just wanna show you quickly on this one here. I just finished uh, cleaning the intake manifold, uh, the actual photo body. That's the photo body inside there. Just finished cleaning, it was really filthy and dirty. And have a look at the actual hose clamp. There's a hose clamp there. Let me spin it around. See the hose clamp? It's going the wrong way. Hose clamp is tight. So it's be here. And the hose clamp's on this side here. So somebody's been working on this car before, I can tell anyway, see? They didn't put it in properly because they didn't take it out. It's probably just mucking around or not sure what they've done. But now I'm gonna take the hose clamp off and then refit the hose clamp back to this side here. It should be on this side here, on that, that part there, not here. So there's a lot of air leaks on this car, so I can't wait to take it for road test to see how much power it's gonna have after we put everything back together. That's all nice and clean as well. We just finished cleaning the outside as well, like that one there, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Just a quick video to show you that. So if you do take it off, make sure you get a little mirror like this, and then use the mirror underneath the hose clamp to look to make sure that the actual um, clamp is on this track all the way around to the bottom. So if he didn't, this guy here didn't use a mirror, so that's why he can't see it. Anyway, we're gonna test this one here, see, make sure it's good, and then we'll go from there, all right? Thanks for watching and please subscribe.